G'day, ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, and welcome back to Forza Horizon Cinque or Five. Uh, to not say that in Italian. So in today's episode, we're basically going to be showcasing four-wheel drives. No, actually, what we're really going to be doing is uh, doing a bit of a uh, barn hunt, but because most of them are significantly off the beaten path, we're going to be doing it in four-wheel drives, and I'm going to keep changing the four-wheel drive between each barn find. So technically, I guess we are also showcasing four-wheel drives. So what we've got here is we've got a Jaguar F-Pace, which is got some F and pace, I must say. Uh, I mean, as you can see, <laughs> I mean, there's not really much I can say <laughs> other than it's a quick SUV. Uh, so we're coming up now into the location of the first barn find. Now, just a heads up, in this video, you will see all the locations that the barn finds are located in as opposed to the locations where the barn finds aren't located in. What even was that? Okay, um... <clears throat> I don't even know why I'm driving around this house right now as if I'm half expecting a barn find to literally be right there on the main road. Like, I'm not, uh... I'm not a newbie when it comes to Forza Horizon 5 or Forza Horizon in general and barn finds and I should know much better than to just expect it to be placed in front of me in the open my eyes section because that's just not going to be a thing so <clears throat> I guess the best uh, advice I can give when you are looking for a barn find or if you're struggling to find a barn find circle the outer rim of the location and try and find a high point shopping center and go from there. It looks like I've discovered the barn. No. <clears throat> is that possibly a future barn or is that a barn I've already been to? Hmm. Anyway, I'll take out a fast travel board in the interim. Um, that's really interesting actually because that one isn't actually that far off of the road. So I can only assume that because of its location that it must have been one of the first ones that they make available to you within the game uh, just to obviously not make people go, oh shit, especially if it's their first Forza Horizon, you know when people are going, oh shit, these are so difficult to find and I guess it makes sense to increase the difficulty as we go along. Now I'm just going to do some uh, farming here, it appears, just uh, his crops look like they're ready so, I mean, you know pick him for him. I don't know if uh, churning him up under the uh, ties of the car is the kind of picking that he wanted to be done, but it, it's the picking that he's getting, at least from me anyway. Um, pretty sure that's going to get me fired from that job, um, and, and I guess that's fair enough. The other tip I can give you when looking for uh, barn finds is you need to look for a road that is not on your map usually and it looks like uh, an entrance to a farm or a winery or whatever it's usually a small dirt road with fences on both sides um, chances are if you come across one of those in your purple circle that it will in fact lead you to the location of the barn find now as you can see I'm using absolutely none of my tips whatsoever to find this first barn find. So whether or not you take my advice is very, very much uh, your prerogative on that one. Um, I, I'm obviously not doing a very good job of displaying uh, the advice that I'm providing. So I guess you could say, do as I say, but not as I do, um, which is terrible advice. So as you can see, I've sort of noticed that there was a small road here that uh, went down the middle of nowhere but it doesn't have a fence on both sides. Now this is a mistake uh, going, well it's not a mistake going down here actually because it could have actually led to the location of the road that then takes us to the barn find. But um, as you can see, it is most definitely not the right place. I guess one thing that I have now done from the advice that I was uh, spruiking for the first few minutes of the video is now, 
I am uh, trying to get some height so I can see what uh, might be in the distance, which this has given me absolutely no benefit whatsoever because there's fucking trees in the way. So again, my advice is uh, really uh, being proved to be very beneficial and useful not. However, as you can see here, I seem to be coming in behind a barn. And there we go, we have a barn find. Brilliant. <laughs> Let me guess, you found it. Oh yeah, I did. Took me long enough, but I found it. BMW. Too old to be made in Mexico, though. We should take it to the taller so I can get a better look. 2002 Turbo. That's nice. Hell yeah. What a barn find. That's epic. Call you soon. All no worries. BMW. All good. Let's see what we've got here. A BMW 2002 Turbo. I mean, you literally just said that. All right, so now we're going to select our next barn find location on the GPS, and we're going to need to change car as well, Bryce. That would be helpful. So we need to get ourselves into another off-roading vehicle. So we're going to take our Dodge Durango dad car. Um, I call it the Dodge Durango dad car because it is literally the ultimate dad car to have seven-seat SUV that does... Uh, zero to 100, and I think, and that's kilometers per hour, so 60 miles an hour, in about three and a half seconds, I believe. I mean, seven seats, complete and utter practicality, the ability to, you know, go on the beach and uh, bush tracks and, you know, nothing too crazy off-road, and then to also have that sort of power on tap. Shout out to America for doing awesome things, and in particular, Chrysler Jeep Dodge for their... Uh, you know, uh, fantastic SUVs. Uh, now, they don't sponsor this video in any way, shape or form, and this is just my opinion, but from the opinion of somebody who is sort of getting towards that age where, you know, a family might be on the cards and all that sort of stuff, uh, this car would be very high up on the list if I could afford it. Um, I will absolutely happily admit that. It would definitely be the dream family vehicle. Uh, if the finances were able to make it happen, that is for sure. Alright, so we're coming up now on our second barn find circle. You have arrived at I nearly said second barn find location. Well, that's not exactly true, is it? Because we don't know the location. So, this time I'm actually going to employ my tactics a little bit more. As you can see, I've gone straight for a side road and straight for uh, elevation to try and get a view across the uh, area of the purple circle. I just obviously need to make sure I drive towards the edge, but don't fall down. And as you can see, straight away, I can see a barn. So we're just going to make a beeline for the barn. There's a, a wasp line? No, beeline. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> just smashing bits tell and me, pieces please, into the door. Please tell me. Yes, yes, I found it. Oh, it's a Mustang. Mm. Oh, talk about famous cars. This is the one from... Uh, what's that movie with the detective? Uh, ha hang on, it'll come to me. Will it? Anyway, that, that Mustang has definitely seen better days. Seen better days. From the I'll place in my head, right. See if I can remember the down day on my knees, and I pray to God, hope He sees me through to the end. I, I don't know. I just I felt like that was the perfect feeling at that point. And um, look, probably that's going to be where most people stop watching the video, and that's fair enough. That's that's absolutely fair enough. Um, you know, just. Sometimes sentences that are directly taken from songs make me break into music. Music? Song. Either one. I guess they're both the same thing, technically. Anyway, so, now we're in our, uh, Bronco. Heading to our next barn find location. Big fan of this car, actually. This is the car I selected originally as my, uh, 
first car when I did start the game. Um, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Plenty of power. Sounds great. Handles relatively decently for uh, such a lifted vehicle. And it is absolutely fantastic off-road as well. And it, yeah, that, that exhaust note is just... I mean, I'm pretty sure because it's a... Forza Horizon vehicle that they give to you at the start. I'm pretty sure it does have some modifications on it. In fact, I'm very sure, especially judging by the wheels that it's got on there, they're, you know, you don't get those as standard on the Ford Bronco. I'm actually really disappointed that Ford didn't bring this vehicle to Australia. Now, I know it's got teething problems and a few issues here and there, but a lot of vehicles do, especially when they... Uh, bring out a new iteration of a model that has been gone for a while utilizing you know new wheelbases and all sorts of stuff like that or utilizing a wheelbase in a different way it's it's going to be a thing it happens with all the manufacturers especially those that are not considered you know more luxury or premium because they just don't have the quality control there that uh, some of those other brands may have now I'm in no way excusing Ford from having issues with their vehicles. It's not a good thing and they need to rectify it uh, immediately or as fast as they possibly can. But, uh, you know, as I said, very disappointed that Ford has uh, decided not to bring this to Australia as a lot of Australians would definitely find this thing to be... Uh, to suit their needs. I mean... We already have the Jeep Wrangler here, but it, it would be good competition, I guess. You know, nice to for those who are in the market for a Jeep Wrangler to have another potential option. All right, looks like we have another barn find here. Ah, definitely a classic camioneta. <laughs> Let's take you back. An old F100, and it's not actually in that poor a condition. I mean, it's it's not great. There's a lot of rust, but ooh, that is I haven't worked on one that of that could be dead. something pretty spectacular. Once I get my hands on it on the other uh, end. Now, you guys, please do let me know uh, in the comments if you would like to see some barn find builds. Usually when I build barn finds in this game, I tend to leave the engine as the engine that was intended and simply add uh, performance options and upgrades to that engine. Um... I feel like it just helps to keep the purity of the vehicle and there's no point in trying to do stupid things to uh, old cars, especially when they've been restored to at least feel relatively similar to the day they did when they rolled off the factory floor. Now, maybe that's just me being sentimental and partially realistic and possibly uh, inflicting too much emotional attachment, as much emotional attachment as you can actually put into a game. But yeah, please do let me know um, if you would like to see some of those builds, you know, some short videos or whatever, some speed building with some music, etc. Just to see what sort of awesome stuff we can do to these vehicles to really give them that... Uh, and it doesn't even necessarily need to be exterior. Um, you know, behind the scenes, that modern tweak while still keeping the purity of the vehicle so that we can enjoy... Uh, these older vehicles at their very best of what is achievable today. Right, so this Ford Puma thing that has been done up in rally spec is a little bit nuts and very difficult to control actually. I'm having a really hard time keeping this thing uh, sort of in a straight line. A lot of uh, weaving from the front end which kind of, even though it is all-wheel drive, it kind of makes me wonder to which bias, whether it's a front wheel or a rear wheel bias on this all wheel drive. Anyway, I've seen what I was talking about, which is a small road that's not marked on the map that has fences on both sides. And as you can see over there in the distance, there's a barn find or a barn, which could end up being a barn find. It looks the part and it is the part. So there we go.
Oh, oh yes, 1953 Corvette. Very early. <sighs> Might be 1953. Damn, that that is going to be nice when it is restored. But I get the feeling it's probably going to also be incredibly gutless, which is going to be quite disappointing because obviously you associate a Corvette with being a quick vehicle. All right, on to barn find number f five, four, five of the episode. It's one of those. I knew, I think we had about six or seven barn finds to complete. They literally just threw barn finds at me in the space of a couple of hours when I was playing. Um, yeah, and I was just like, you know what, if you're going to throw that many barn finds at me, I may as well turn it into a fucking video. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, this is my GMC Jimmy, which was in fact a barn find, and I'm pretty sure I've showcased this before in a video, but it isn't, or at the time, it certainly wasn't upgraded to the, uh, level that this is. Now, as I was saying before, I usually like to keep the purity of uh, barn find when I do modify it. This was a slightly different uh, case in point because when it came to me, it was all uh, from being restored, it was already incredibly lifted and incredibly loud and vulgar. And I was just sort of like, you know what, let's take this to a new level of insanity. And as you can see, I have, I mean, jump on the brakes and the whole uh, front end almost hits the road. But, uh, so as I said, we're off to barn find number four or five, or this could be number, yeah, this might actually be number five and we've already found four. I can't remember, I can't count. Um, you guys will obviously probably have a better idea of what's going on than I do, even though I'm the one making the video, which is, I guess, a sad reflection on a few things. But anyway, let's uh, get on with it. So this is a quick car, but it is extremely difficult to control uh, in the corners because of the significant amount of height, obviously, and that results in a lot of body roll. Uh, an instability and a lot of uh, pullback on the steering wheel in the opposite direction to where we're going, etc. All the things that you don't want uh, as we take out an XP board and completely ruin a farmer's day by destroying his crops. What a lovely person I am. Okay, so now we're going to go into the greenhouse to pick up a fast travel board, completely destroying what appears to be tomatoes or strawberries or something like one of one of those particular items that grows well under cover in rows like that. I should really have a lot more of an idea of what I'm talking about being a chef in the real world, but I mean in the end this is only a game, so it's not really probably that important. Bloody hell, this thing moves. Ooh. So that is a road with a fence on either side, but doesn't... That was well done. Straight into the person's barn. Sorry about that. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I went down a road that uh, followed my uh, advice, and nothing was there. However, now you can see I've also given myself the height to look around the area uh, and see what we can find that may be barn-like. And it looks like over here, my god, maybe not. I thought for a minute maybe over here there might have been a barn, but possibly no. Although as you saw there was a road just off to my right there that went around and is not on the map, so there is a relatively good chance that that does in fact go to a barn and it does appear to it does awesome there we go there's barn there's another barn find that is a seven liter 425 brick horse oh my god it's a dodge engine. dart and it's a dodge a dart let's get it back to the garage i do let me this will be an absolutely nuts drag racing car once it's done. I wonder if it's worth 
uh, losing the purity of that vehicle to turn this. it into a full-on drag strip monster. That would be cool. Anyway, over to the next barn find. There's a, there's a large number of vehicles here in barns just strewn all across Mexico, and it makes me ask a few questions, that's for sure. Alright, so what do we take now? I'm sort of leaning to maybe the Escort uh, Cosworth Hoonigan version, so let's take that for this next uh, barn find discovery. So there's only 14 barn finds. I find that a surprisingly low number, especially considering that I'm only about a level 50 driver and I'm already going to have discovered, I think, 11 or 12 by the end of this uh, exercise, which is, seems, you know, quite early on and quite a low number. Although I am under the impression that I believe when in convoy or you can gift other people barn finds. In which case, I think that's an absolutely awesome idea. Especially with things that you can potentially win uh, in wheel spins and stuff like that. If you win, you know, old school vehicles that you may already own one or two or three, depending on how you like to do your builds. Personally, I like to do, you know, especially with... Uh, Older cars, I like to have a drag version, I like to have a race car version, and I like to have a pure version as well. Um, but if you've got an excessive amount of, you know, certain older vehicles or whatever, you can gift them to other people, I guess, um, as barn finds. So that's something I will absolutely look at creating a video series doing, a uh, video series or a video, uh, depending on how many cars I manage to win over the next, you know, however many weeks, months, years I play this game for and make videos from it. Uh, that is definitely something I'll be endeavouring to do, is doing a video of once we have enough vehicles of sort of gifting uh, barn finds out to various people and especially trying to keep it within our uh, car club. Speaking of which, if you, I know it doesn't have it next to my name yet and I am certainly working on that. If you are interested uh, in joining the car club, so the car, ooh, Barn. Right, we'll do that information after this barn. Whoa! No wonder those American collectors wanted this. Mm. It's a Viper. Viper ACR. The ACR, I think. Aye, 8 litre V10. And almost impossible to keep the power on the road. But if you can, here. Give me a hand. Nice. Nice. I'll give you a call yeah. when it's done. So, as I was saying, uh, we do have a car club that is actually uh, mixed between a few channels. So, between myself, Brett Plays, I believe, uh, Letter Rapier 709. Uh, yeah, so I think it's the three of us have all come together to collaborate the three channels to make the one car club. At least at this point, that might change in the future. But if you are looking for a car club to be a part of within um, Forza Horizon 5, I do recommend L O H R, Legends of Highest Regard, is what that stands for. Um, and basically, the name says it all. It is literally a Forza Horizon car club for a bunch of legends to just hang out and enjoy yourselves and there's no discrepancies or questions or you don't have to complete things and you don't have to be around, really good or you know, there's no to pressure so. to do anything other than if you just want to have those letters at the start of your uh, gamer tag, more than welcome. You just need to search for it in the searchy thing for the car clubs. Yeah, as you can see, I really know what I'm talking Arrive about there. So here we are doing, is this the last barn, it must be the last barn find that we've got here of the video. And it's in the jungle area, so this could be significantly more difficult to find simply because there's so many unmarked roads and tracks in these jungle areas that are not on the map. The question, I guess, is whether or not these areas have the fences on both sides. And again, I've gone to a barn, farmhousey style thing that is literally on the side of a main road. You would have thought that after the first one 
uh, that we went to and the barn phone wasn't there uh, and was complete failure based on that thought process, you would have thought that I would have uh, seen that and gone, nah, it can't be because it won't be because they're not going to make the barn finds that simple. But there you go, you know. Uh, you can't lead, sorry, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Alright, so I don't know why, I also don't know why I'm employing the whole idea here of sitting, uh, you know, on some elevation and looking around. The elevation around here is not actually high enough to be able to look around, I say, as I turn my Maserati into a speedboat. Uh, the best bet that I can give with these jungle uh, barn finds is just drive through the scrub and the trees and all that um, and hope and pray that you do come across one of those small side roads that's unmarked that has got a fence on both sides and if you don't well but as you can see I've just sort of come flying through the middle and I've found a barn which appears to be the barn find oh, oh. Hey, it's an F40 I can't believe it Help me get it out of here. Uh-huh. Ferrari F40. Okay, that is a pretty special barn find, I must say. That is pretty spectacular. I'll call the paint shop. Tell them to get out the Rosa Corsa. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah, that's bloody awesome. All right, so now into the world map, we're just going to do a quick scan to make sure that we didn't miss any barn finds, because that would be, seeing as this is a barn find episode, that would be extremely awkward, uh, at least for me anyway. Uh, and it doesn't seem like there's any more, but, you know, I'm just going to keep circling the map anyway for God knows what reason. Right. Off to the uh, Apex Outpost over there, and I, what we're going to do when we get there... Well, actually, we're going to change our car first, seeing as that was the whole uh, thing that we selected at the start of the video to do. This is technically not a four-wheel drive, I guess. This is just an all-wheel drive vehicle, but it is an absolutely awesome all-wheel drive vehicle. It's got so much power for a little hatch. It sounds insane. So when we get to the Apex Outpost here, basically what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be uh, grabbing our barn find that is ready, which is the Jaguar XJR 15, I think. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically the point of this exercise at this point. Um, and you guys will have to let me know as well in a future video if you would like to see me do a test drive of each of the barn finds, especially in their stock form. If that's something you'd be... I mean, I know you guys, a lot of you have this game and you can probably do that on your own, but I would, uh, I would sort of almost turn it into a car review style thing. So if that is something that you would be interested in at least seeing attempted, you know, with one or two videos and see what you guys think, please do let me know in the comments. That would be absolutely fantastic. It should have been on the track at Le Mans, not in the middle of the Mexican jungle. Hang on, did he say 450 horsepower? Far out. That's decent for... I guess, you know, in 19... I'm pretty sure in 1991 that was the fastest car in the... Road-going car in the world. Which is... 450 horsepower back in 91. That's fairly decent considering that the regulations for unleaded fuel and all that had only just become a thing. You know, the, at least in Australia about... I think it was six or seven years prior to that and obviously put a massive dent in what manufacturers could and couldn't put in vehicles because uh, they just didn't have the technology or the ability or the emissions ratings, etc, etc. But, ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, that does bring us to the end of this Forza Horizon 5 video. If you did like what you see or you have suggestions on how to make this uh, more like what you would like to see, please do leave a comment consider liking the video and also subs subscribing to the channel. Feel free to jump in the Discord as well and offer up any suggestions or join us in our Discord convoys. But until next time, wherever you are in the world, you look after yourself, you stay safe, you stay well, you don't do anyone I wouldn't do, and I'll see you legends in the next video. Cheers.